Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today I want to talk about ants in the Philippines. Ants in the Philippines can be pretty bad. I mean, during the rainy season, the ants tend to come inside the house sometimes here. And I've been pretty lucky in my house since, since I've got here, is that I put like the door sweeps on my door and I put the foam going around the door to keep insects and bugs out. But there's always a little crack where some, something can come in or whatever. And if you, if you have like the least, if you spill a soda on the floor and you don't wipe it all up, you're going to have ants all over the place. If you kill a bug and you leave the bug there, they're going to they're gonna come in and, and carry that bug away. You know, it's just the way it is in the Philippines. Ants can be everywhere. They can, they can even get in your bed and stuff like that. Now, I've been lucky as far as this goes. Up until like the past, I'll say about the past week, I started noticing ants coming in the house. Okay? Now, the past couple of days... I've always used chalk. That was the way I got rid of them in the beginning. I used chalk around the windows and on the walls. Wherever they were walking, I put the chalk, and they would carry that chalk back to their their um, home, and it would kill all the rest of the ants. And then after a while, you just didn't see them. You didn't see them for, for years. Now, all of a sudden, they're back. So I'm starting to use the chalk again. And what I do is I put it all around the window, you know, and I have a, I have a, a, a curtain there, so I don't see the chalk. It doesn't look bad or anything. Now what you do is after like about a week you wipe it off, and then after that, you usually won't see them. If you see them again, you just put the chalk back up. That chalk is cheap; it's a little bit over a dollar probably for a box of two pieces of chalk. Now the other thing is you can wash wash in the kitchen everything with with vinegar. Now the vinegar is going to smell a little bit for a little bit, and then it it, it goes away. Okay, and I don't, I don't I actually don't mind the smell of vinegar. I actually kind of like it, but if you wash your your um, countertop with vinegar and stuff like that, it, it drives the ants away. Now, if you mix water, 50% water and 50% vinegar, it kills the ants if you spray it on the ants. And it also will keep the ants away from that area for a while, okay, which is good. So you want to make sure that, that you have all this stuff available. You have the spray bottle with the, with the vinegar and water, 50-50, and you also have the chalk. And that'll get rid of them. But also you want to have your doors done. And I've talked about this before. With the foam that goes around your door, usually it's, they use it for keeping the cold out. In this case here, it's for keeping insects out over here in the Philippines. Okay, and then get the door sweep for the bottom of the door. That keeps mice out, keeps bugs, roaches, I insects, whatever, s even snakes out of your house. Because there's, sometimes there's baby snakes that can get underneath your door and get inside. And we've actually had a, a baby snake get into the house one time and went into the bathroom. And my girlfriend got it out. But anyway... I just want to talk about this because there's other things out there too. You can also buy bygone, and bygone is a spray to kill them if there's a, if there's enough of them around. I don't really like to kill them with the bygone, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, when you kill them with the bygone, you're just killing the ants that are there. All the other ones that are back in the home are still going to come back. So it's best to put the chalk out and be patient and wait like a day or two with the chalk and they usually disappear and usually they start disappearing within like about two hours you'll start seeing them disappear because ants move fast they're always on the move so they're going to walk through that chalk at some point or they, they're going to walk up to it and they get a little bit on their hand or something like that and it kills them it, they take it back to their home or sometimes they'll die right there but the ones that take it home are the ones that are gonna, they're the ones that are going to bring it back to the home and kill all the other ants and it, that's the way it really works so you want to make sure you let it work let it work the way it's supposed to work, and you'll be fine. If, 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 you, if you go up there with the bygone, or you go up there with the 50-50 vinegar and water spray, then, then um, you know, you're, you're killing them right then and there, and you're kind of defeating yourself because later on they're going to come back. And you have to break up their trails, too. The vinegar tends to break up the, the scent of their trail, so that helps with that, too, a little bit. So, like, later on, when you go to wash... When you go to wash the, the chalk off, use vinegar and water to wash it off. Wash all around there and wash it off. So the vinegar and stuff will, will act as like kind of a repellent for them, at least for a few days till that smell goes away. So it, it'll help like in both ways. So you're using it as a, as, a, as, a, as a thing to wash your wall and to wash all that off. Now, when you wash that chalk off, it's toxic, okay? So you do not want to wash that with your laundry and have it touch near your skin because I read up on this stuff. That chalk is not good. <laughs> it's just not good, okay? So be careful you don't breathe the dust from it or anything like that. Just put it on there. Don't worry about it. You know, just let it, let it go. But this, this, this stuff, like I said, vinegar and water, that works great. Bygone, if you want to kill them right away, if you've got a ton, ton of ants, 
I walked outside the other day, barefoot in the back where we have our washing machine, okay? And I stepped in a pile of ants, okay? And they went up my leg and they were biting my leg. They were those little tiny ants. And they were biting my leg like crazy and I was doing the dance out back. And believe me, it was not fun. I had to pour, I poured alcohol, the nearest thing I could, I could find, down my leg to kill them. And I, I, you know, and of course, alcohol kills them almost immediately. But I mean, man, my leg, it, it, you know, it didn't swell up or anything like that. But I could feel the ants biting me, like little tiny ants bite me. You know, they weren't the red ants or something like that. But man, it didn't feel good. Let me tell you, I was doing, I was doing the dance out there for for a good probably you know, five minutes or something like that, trying to get them off there while I'm pouring the alcohol down my leg, trying to brush them all off and everything. They, and they move fast on your leg, too, because I stepped right in the pile. And not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. But anyway, guys, just be careful. Also, I want to talk a little bit about mice, too, because while we're on the subject of pests and ants and stuff like that, I've lived in my house now for three and a half years, okay? And since I've lived in this house here, I think we've only had a mouse in here once, okay? And we managed to get it out of here really, really quick. We, we found it almost right away. I think it was when I first moved in here. And the best way to take care of mice is this, is just have a trap set all the time. Put a new chunk of food on there each week. You know, keep it fresh. Um, I would put something on there that's not going to attract other bugs or insects, like maybe a cracker or something like that that they'll go after. You know, something like that. Ants usually won't go after crackers for some reason. I'm not sure why. But put that on there or put something on there that they'll go after. And then just leave it there. That way there you know you always have the, 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 the trap out there. So if something does come in the house, they'll find it. It'll probably be the first thing that they find. But usually if you have, the, like I said, the things on the doors, the door sweep, the, the foam around your door, and all the holes going through, through the walls around pipes, you know, put in like some sort of like... Um, you know, cloth or something to block all that off. Put something inside there. Some people use say that you use SOS pads or something like that in there. You know, something like if you can find anything like that, or put soap in there. Uh, Irish Spring soap supposedly you know helps get rid of um, it, the, the 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 mice don't like it and the bugs don't like it. So you put that that inside the wall. You you could split off a couple pieces of it, throw that in there, and then block it off. You know, but throw that in there. I think you'll be good. I, I just want want to let you guys know we you know we we do have a problem over here with a lot of insects i've been lucky because of of what i've done and it's worked for me and that's why i want to share it with you you know because it works is if it works for me it'll work for you too the door stops you know the door sweeps uh i mean not door stops door sweeps uh the foam all that stuff make sure you put that in your house as soon as you move in that'll help you a lot it takes a few weeks or months to get all the insects out of your house I rarely ever see a spider in my house anymore, rarely. On occasion, I see one of those little tiny spiders, but we don't see the big spiders in the house anymore. And that's a big plus, you know, because I hate spiders here, because they're huge. And they're not afraid of people, because they'll jump on you. The big ones will actually physically jump on you, and that's scary. And I think I told the story before about the spider up on top of, I have like a locker in my room, and the spider jumped on my head. And I reached my hand up because I felt like something was up there, and I, I swept it. And I looked down, and it was like this spider that was probably like about this 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 big around, totally. And I was like, man, you know, like I hope that thing's not poisonous. But I found out that most of the spiders here are, are, are not poisonous, so you don't have to worry that much about poisonous spiders here. But you know, I still don't like I still don't like spiders. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show, guys. Take care.